Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another Walking Dead video for today. This one's going to be doing another character evolution video. This one is going to be talking about a classic Walking Dead character from the old days. This one's going to be for The Walking Dead's Herschel Green. Okay guys, just going to do another video for today. This one's going to be doing another Walking Dead video for today. This one is going to be talking about Herschel Green from The Walking Dead. So, Herschel is a fantastic character in The Walking Dead. I mean, honestly, fantastic character. So, he's introduced in Season 2, Episode 2, and unfortunately killed off in Season 4, Episode 8, uh, Too Far Gone. So, um, obviously, he's immediately liked by the fans, I would say, because he saves Carl's life. Um... Yes, Shane gets the stuff, but if it wasn't for Herschel, Carl would have died. So I have to definitely give her, you know, most of the credit to Herschel for this one. Um, amazing job by him. Now, of course, they all settle into the farm and they kind of, uh, you know, they think about maybe staying there permanently. Herschel doesn't really like that idea because of people like Shane and other kind of people that are kind of like causing problems. So you can definitely understand where Herschel's coming from. He's just like, man, you got people like Shane on this farm? No, get out, you know? Uh, so I kind of understand where he's coming from with that. But he doesn't really want the barn of walkers to be, I mean, I feel like he doesn't care if it's known. He would rather it wasn't, but because it is, he just kind of lets everybody know, like, hey, like, just how about you just stay away from it and, you know, we'll be good. But of course, people like Shane do not listen to Herschel, uh, really, no matter what. So, um, you know, Rick is trying to smooth things over, trying to convince him maybe we could clear the burn. Herschel's telling him no. Uh, you know, Rick's saying, like, we need to stay here, Rick. I'm telling you, we can't. Like, it's just this constant, you know, like, I, I don't want you staying at my farm. I don't. And, you know, I'm not going to blame him. Just just because there are people like Shane that would make anybody want to kick them out. I mean, honestly. So uh, definitely you can understand where he's kind of coming from. But this is one thing with Herschel I will have to say, though, I don't like in season two. It's one thing is that I don't like how he tried to convert Rick to believe that walkers are sick. He's like, my farm, my barn, my say. These people, they're sick. They can be restored. I'm like, Dude, like, come on here, face reality. You saw the news broadcast, didn't you? Like, you said you did, so what the hell, you know? Uh, and that's what Rick even said. Like, if you saw the same ones I did, you'll know that it's much, much worse and it changes you, you know? Um, But I just, I, I don't know. Herschel kind of took it too far with the sick people at times. But um, I get it. I do, you know, when it comes to him not really wanting Rick and them to stick around. I can kind of understand that. But the, you know, trying to convert Rick into thinking they're just sick people, no, that, that made no sense to me. But uh, essentially, we get to see, uh, of course, unfortunately, his wife and all uh, a lot of people that he knew, uh, unfortunately, are in that barn. And when they clear it, not only is Sophia there, but some of the people he cared about as well, too. And of course, he just kind of goes over the edge. He, you know, goes to the bar downtown. He completely just bails on everybody. Um, and uh, essentially, he kind of blames himself for what an ass he's been, is what he says. So um, I can definitely... I definitely say season two Herschel definitely is my least favorite, but I think that his character definitely evolves even just throughout the, the second season because he goes from being a guy that, uh, you know, kind of, it's all about him, my farm, my barn, my say, the people, you know, they're sick people, this and that. And by the end of the season, he loses his farm. He actually lets Rick and the others kind of stick around and defend the place, if anything. Um, and he knows what the dead are now. And he's, you know, like fighting in battles and at the bar and stuff like that. Like, he really does just take a full just switch, if you ask me. So I would say Herschel Season 2 is actually a really great evolution from where he starts to where he goes. Now, in terms of Season 3, unfortunately, they go to the prison and he immediately loses his leg at the beginning of the season. Um, obviously there's kind of the wonder of, you know, if he's going to survive, he obviously does, but there's kind of that wonder there for a little bit. Uh, and basically throughout, uh, the first half of the season, he's kind of like a father figure for Rick, you know, after Rick loses Lori, um, he's like, you know, hey, I'll sit down with you. I'll, I'll wait for Lori to call. You know, you remember that? Like he's very like uh, fatherish to Rick, you know, like Rick's like all psycho, you know, he's like, someone called Herschel on this phone, you know? And Herschel's like, dude, the thing is not working. What are you talking about? And he's just like, I'll sit here with you, Rick. I'll wait for the next call, you know? Um, and Rick's just like, no, 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 go somewhere else, you know? So, um, and I love how Herschel too, you know, he's got one leg, so he's like, I'll sit with you. That's something I'm pretty good at nowadays. So, um, love it. I think Herschel in season three was really cool. He survives. He only has one leg now, but he's kind of the father figure to the group for Rick and for Glenn and for some people like that. 
Even when Rick is contemplating giving over Michonne to the governor, uh, you know, Herschel's kind of the one that's like, oh, she's earned her place. Like, it's, I mean, it's up to you, but my vote's kind of like more no, you know? Um, and, uh, you know, and even Daryl, too, like when Rick tells Daryl, Daryl's like, it ain't honest, man. And Herschel's like, no, no, it isn't. And he, you know, he, he hops away. Uh, I was about to say walk away, but yeah. So essentially, uh, in, season, in the rest of season three, he also witnesses, which I thought was another big scene, uh, he witnesses Carl kill a, a Woodbury member and he doesn't really like that too much. He's like, Rick, he gunned that kid down, you know? And it's kind of a moment where Rick's like, okay, maybe Carl does need to have a little time away from the apocalypse for a little bit. Um, even though I personally didn't disagree with it, I'm going to be honest, I don't think Carl killing that guy was the worst thing in the world. I feel like we have seen characters do worse things, but um, either way, though, it was all of a sudden. So I could agree with Herschel on that. Now, Season four, um, so season three, great evolution, I would say. Voice of reason, you know, a lot of great uh, quotes and great moments and just great uh, character overall in season three, I would say. Uh, and then season four is actually my personal favorite season for Herschel, uh, oddly. Uh, he's not even in the uh, in the whole season, but um, he helps during the flu storyline. And this, this is the one storyline um, or the one uh, quote I love. And uh, I'm going to try to say it as best as I can. So, I remember when he's going in there and he's about to save people in cell block uh, D, I'm pretty sure. And Maggie's like, why aren't, why aren't you in quarantine and stuff? And, uh, you know, uh, he's like, uh, you know, you risk your life. You take a drink of water, you risk your life. And nowadays you breathe, you know, and you risk your life every moment now. The only thing you can choose is what you're risking it for. And he's like, now I can make these people feel better and hang on just a little bit longer. And he's like, I can save lives. That's reason enough to risk mine, you know? Um, Freaking just badass, man. I'm sorry. I love that scene. So, um, love it. I think that is just, it, it's my personal favorite Herschel, uh, you know, piece of dialogue. I love it. I think it's amazing. But, uh, essentially he goes in there and in episode five, amazing character, like phenomenal character. He saves a bunch of lives. He tries to keep Maggie out of there so she doesn't have to see Glenn. You know, he tries to kind of keep that from her, which you can, you know, definitely understand. He has to constantly, when people are dying, the ones he can't save, he has to take them to the room in the back, kill them, go back out there, pretend like everything's a-okay. Like, honestly, what an amazing storyline they gave him in that one. And even to a point where Glenn is turning blue, for God's sakes, and he, you know, has no choice but to get that thing off the walker just to save Glenn's life. Um, so many just amazing scenes, honestly. I love it. Um, and even the part when Rick's talking to him, like, through the glass and stuff, and Rick's just like, uh, you know, is that denial? And he's like, uh, you think it's all a test? And he's like, life was always a test, Rick, you know? Um, so cool, man. Honestly, Herschel, that's his best episode. I don't think anybody could argue that. That's his best Walking Dead episode right there. Um, and essentially, throughout the rest, he, of course, you know, Tyrese and Daryl and the others get back, so he can kind of rest now. Um, and he's, you know, just man, he dealt with a lot, but, um, I love it when Daryl's like, uh, you're, you're telling, he's just like, I am, you know, um, love it, I thought that was absolutely awesome, so, uh, basically, he gets captured with Michonne, and unfortunately, unfortunately, the governor takes his life, which is, um, just really, man, you know, uh, really sad, I'm gonna be honest, though, as much as I know some people don't like Herschel's death, they find it to be very, um, soon, I, I've heard people say that, um, I like the death just because of how cinematic it is and how just amazingly done it is. But in terms of the character, that one hurt. I mean, it absolutely did. When that happened, I remember I was like, wow, really? So yeah, um, to make a long story short, Herschel's character, awesome. Love his character. I love every second of that, uh, that guy's story. Um, I think he's really, really awesome. Scott Wilson, may he rest in peace because he was an amazing actor and uh, played an awesome character. So that is my thoughts on Herschel. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about Herschel's character in The Walking Dead. Write your comments in the comment section below. And of course, guys, if you're new here, click to subscribe and don't miss any Walking Dead videos. Follow Dance, Walking Dead videos, subscribe, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another Walking Dead video. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Everybody